Masumi Hayashi was born on July 22, 1961. She was quite a reserved lady and married an older already divorced man, named Kenji, and together the couple had four children. In the mid-1990s, the family moved to another district, of the city of Wakayama, which is a city about 550 kilometers west of Tokyo. For many years it was a small farming village set among rice fields, but in the late 1980s, the village started to be developed as farmers sold off part of their land to construction companies, who built new larger houses to serve the commuters who worked in Wakayama City. Masumi and Kenji had a relatively large house, which was one of the biggest in the neighborhood. Locating to the area the family didn't try to integrate with the local community, they kept themselves to themselves. Masumi and Kenji didn't encourage their children to play outside, with other local youngsters. Instead, the family seemed to only socialize with their friends from outside the area, many of them would often come and visit them, but very few locals had ever entered their house. Kenji was said to be impatient and Masumi was known to be unsociable and unfriendly. It seemed from the outside that the family were wealthy, but the locals could not work out how they had managed to accumulate their money. Masumi had apparently worked as an insurance salesperson and Kenji didn't work, but it was known there he had previously worked for himself in his termite extermination business. Like many Japanese communities, every summer the local people arranged a festival, known as the Matsuri. This summer event brings people together to enjoy. It was 1998, and the Sanabe district, Matsuri was being arranged the event had now been taking place for several years and the organizer of festival committee chairman was an enthusiastic 64-year-old resident, named Takashi Tanaka. He was supported by his deputy chairman, 53-year-old, Tanaki Tanaka, and a very experienced organization committee. The organizers had all the preparations in hand well in advance of the festival, they sent out invitations to all the local households and these invitations also contain coupons for food and drink, as well as information such as the date, time and location of the event. These were popular events and many people from the surrounding areas usually attended, to enjoy a fun-filled community day. The local women's association volunteered for the job of preparing the food for the festival. So based on what had been popular in previous years, made a list of all the dishes they would need to make for a successful day. With everything in place, the day of a Matsuri arrived. It was Saturday, July 25, 1998, the food had been prepared and was very popular, but the most popular dish was for curry. It was served from a large cooking pot and people did not only eat at the festival, some took his away in containers to eat later. Everyone was happy that the event was going so well, this soon stopped, when event attendants has started to feel ill, many were being sick, and the committee chairman, Mr. Tanaka, was found by his wife, back at his home with his hand on his heart, a local doctor diagnosed food poisoning, but many people who had eaten at the festival had similar pains, which were bad enough for many of them to be transported to the local hospital. By the next morning Sunday, July 26, 1998, it was reported that 63 people had been hospitalized and four had died. It was announced with the four victims, the event organizer, his deputy and two local children. Soon the news spread across the whole of Japan and the press referred to the terrible events as a vacuum of poisonings. The Shinobi district seemed a very unlikely place for such a horrible crime to happen and the press started to ask if there had been something dark hidden under the surface of this quiet picturesque place. The police investigated the incident. Their first point of call was the hospital to find out what had caused food poisoning. The medical staff identified cyanide as the poisoning agent, so the police began to piece together the information surrounding the crime, but one week later, medical experts informed the police that the actual poison used was powdered arsenic, which they thought must have been deliberately sprinkled into the curry pot. By this time the district of Shinobi and indeed Japan was in a state of shock. The crime was now a murder case, police and journalists swamped the area. The initial investigation was slow and drew criticism from the Japanese press and the local residents. The investigators then discovered, the two men who regularly visited the Hayashi's home, had frequently been admitted to hospital, after eating there. 
When medics examined the two men, they found that both gentlemen had traces of arsenic in their hair. It also transpired that one of them had been insured by Masumi against being ill and she had allegedly been paid 6 million yen in insurance benefits due to sickness. Masumi's address was also used on the insurance policy of the other man, who had also been treated for arsenic poisoning. The police also investigated a couple for another insurance scam, in this case Masumi Hayashi had been burned while she was cooking spaghetti at her house to receive the insurance money, she claimed that she had sustained the injuries after falling off a bicycle and landing on a bonfire. The deeper the investigation went, more insurance scams were uncovered. The police began to investigate these insurance frauds more closely and formed the opinion that Masumi was probably responsible for putting arsenic into the curry at the festival in order to collect on insurance policies that she had taken out on several of the people who she knew would attend the festival. The police searched their home and discovered arsenic in the house, which they presumed had probably been used in Kenji's termite extermination business. According to the investigators, this matched perfectly with the traces of arsenic on cups found among the rubbish from the festival. Witnesses had come forward saying that they had seen Masumi lurking by the curry pots. The pressure on the police to solve his mystery was mounting. Finally in early October 1998, detectives arrived at the High Ashes house and arrested both Masumi and Kenji, they charged both husband and wife with making fraudulent insurance claims, based on the exaggerations of their injuries. They also charged Masumi with four counts of murder by arsenic poisoning. The couple were found guilty of insurance fraud and Kenji was sentenced to six years in prison. But it was the curry poisonings are interested the public and in May 1989, the trial of Masumi Hayashi, the alleged curry poisoner began. It was quite a bizarre and complicated case, mainly built on circumstantial evidence. The prosecutors told the court how the arsenic found at the couple's home matched the one used in the curry. They produced witnesses who had seen Masumi near the curry pots on the festival day and reminded the court that she had a history of insurance fraud. The defense argued that the arsenic was a commonly used product in Japan and the brand used in the curry was available to purchase in many stores. They claimed that the person standing by the curry pots may have been Masumi's daughter, they acknowledged for previous insurance frauds, but that didn't mean that Masumi would randomly poison innocent visitors to the local summer festival. Her lawyers argued for all the evidence against her was circumstantial, her presence at the festival does not prove anything, as thousands of people attended. The traces of poison in her hair could have been carried by steam from the curry after someone else had poisoned it. They also told the court that there was no motive for her to commit the crime, but the prosecution said but having been shunned by locals and the Shinobi Women's Society. They alleged that she wanted to get her own back on them, the prosecution also said that they believed that Masumi may have believed that the arsenic would just make people sick and didn't fully understand what would be the consequences of her actions. The country was gripped by the case and the trial lasted for three years. In December 2002, the Wakayama District Court found Masumi Hayashi guilty of murder in the curry poisoning case and sentenced her to death. That brings us to the end of today's video, what do you think of this case? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section.